Warning, graphic content, viewer discretion advised. Oh boy. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the episode. If y'all can see from the thumbnail, this is more of a serious video. I'm gonna break it down really quick, really fast, cause we're gonna jump into this. I'm going to be sticking three hooks into my arm to show you guys three different ways how to remove hooks. The reason why I wanna do this is cause I'm a person that does not like the hospitals. I don't like needles. I, I, don't, I don't just don't like walking to places like that. So if I got hooked, I didn't know how to get it out. That would be my only option to go there. So when I got hooked, I used some of these methods just to take it out and get right back to fishing. So if you're like me, I'm gonna show you guys some tactics how to get hooks out if you don't wanna go to the hospital. All right, Jalos, so what you're gonna need for these steps, well, I'm, I'm doing three different things, but what I'm gonna need for this video today is just some braids, some alcohol, just to make sure these hooks are sterilized. Good pair of pliers and your actual hooks. So these are the hooks right here, guys. This is a wide gap, one knot, eagle claw hook. The reason why I wanna use these small guys, one knot, not for the pain, not cause it's a smaller bar, but I think that It'd actually be harder to get these hooks out than it would just be a regular straight shank or EWG. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna drop these hooks in the alcohol just to get them sterilized, and then we're gonna go from there. All right, guys, so right now we're gonna take out three hooks, put them in our little bucket right here, container. One, two, three. Take our alcohol, pour that in. The hooks have been sitting, they're sterilized now. We're about to stick these three hooks into my arm and we'll go from there and I'll tell you how we're gonna remove them. All right, so we're taking these hooks out just to dry them off. Get my hands in here too, I guess, to get them sterilized. All right, y'all, here goes the first one. <clears throat> Boy, skin is tough. <clears throat> It's about there. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> All right, y'all, the hook's in, barbs through, hurts pretty bad. We're gonna go to the second one now. All right, y'all, here's the next hook. Let's go in. That one's in. All right, y'all, that's two hooks in my arm. We have one more to do. Let's just go ahead and knock it out. Last one, number three. Send her in. Here we go. <clears throat> That's in. <laughs> that one popped in. So we have all three hooks in my arm right now. I'm gonna show you guys three best ways how to remove them. Y'all wonder about the pain tolerance. It, it hurts bad. It's like my, my arm is like locking up. It's, I get there, all of them are past the barb. So, and I just push them in a little bit further just to make sure. Most common way first is just to actually take the hook and pull it back through the other side to make sure that the barb comes back out my skin. Once you get it past there, you can either bend the barb and slide it out, or you can cut the barb and slide it out. So for this first one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and push it all the way through, pull the barb out, and we're gonna cut it and just slide it right out. We just moved, so I'm in the sun a little bit better so y'all can see you. We're gonna take this first one and actually pull it all the way through. Oh, I see it. You see the barb? Oh, I see the point of the hook. Push it through. Why isn't it going? Cuz, dude, your skin's tough. Skin's tough, y'all. I'm giving it a lot right now. All right, we're about to just full send it right here. Full send all the way, come on. You're almost there. I see it, come on. Please, come on. <laughs> you made a lot of progress there. Okay, so you can clip it. There oh, you there's go. there's the pop. There you go. There's the pop I wanted. Barb is all the way through, and now we're just gonna snip it and pull it out. Like y'all saw, it's all the way through now, and you know, you just want a really beefed up set of pliers. I'm gonna have Dylan actually snip this. Ow. So the barb is cut now. All we have to do is slide it through. Pull it out, there we go. Hooks out, two holes. That one wasn't that bad. And she got me. So the second step of doing this, you're gonna need some braid. You want it to be a little bit heavier, just so it doesn't break. Dylan's gonna get it underneath where the barb is. I'm gonna push down, and as he pulls the opposite way, it should force the hook to come right out. Count of three, we're about to go for it. One, two, three. Ah, <clears throat> that one actually feels like nothing, dude. Out. That's the best way I think so far. That was I, I didn't feel that at all, really. Did you hear it pop? Yeah, I heard it pop. So this is the last one. Past the barb and pulling on it right now is not coming out. This is the way I don't recommend it all. I say this one for the last because it's probably gonna bleed. If you don't have the guts to poke it all the way through to cut the barb or you don't have any type of fishing line or braid, this is your only option. I'm gonna show you guys, I think the best way how I would do it, that is just to grab pliers and just give it all you got. Thank you, Dylan. So Dylan's gonna pull this hook out. One, two, three. Oh, that one's bad. <laughs> 
That one hurt. <laughs> that one hurt bad. She's bleeding a little bit. I don't know if you guys heard the pop. That was all the way past Barb. It, it hurt, but I honestly, I think the one that hurt the worst was pulling it back through the second time. Braid obviously pulled it out with no ease. I really didn't even feel that one. This one, the last one we just did, just yanking it out as hard as you could. It, it hurts, but if I was hooked, I didn't have any way to get it out. I just needed someone to pull it out. I think that's the best way too. If you have the braid, use the braid. That's a really good method. If you got the guts, pull it through and just cut the barb. And if you're just out of luck, just grab some pliers and have a buddy rip it out. Now we're going to pour some alcohol on this just so I don't have to get a tetanus shot. Ow. All right, they, that's good. <laughs> it's been about 15 minutes. My arm really isn't hurting that bad. This was a, it was kind of a cool experience. It sucked kind of putting all these hooks on my arm, but I've been in a situation before where I didn't know what I was going to do. If you ever get hooked, if you're going to go fishing, guys, this can happen to anybody. If you bring a friend who doesn't know what he's doing and he slings that thing out there and it comes across and hits your skin, it sucks. Dude, that was tough. Yeah. That was tough pulling that out. Yes, the pure force it took to get it out was a lot, but from a friend to a friend, just doing that, knowing how much pain you were in, it's just like, yeah. The worst thing, too, is like human skin is actually pretty tough, guys. It, it was the worst pulling all these out. Getting them in, too, was bad. This whole thing was just bad, but I did it for you guys because I want y'all to learn if you ever get a hook in you, how to take it out the proper way. Those are the three best ways I've seen everybody do it. Save some money. Don't go to the hospital. Yeah, save some money. I, just, I hate needles. I hate hospitals. Just the smell walking in, I, I, I can't do it. Those are the three most popular methods that I've seen people do it. Hope you guys learned a lot from this video. We're going to wrap it up right here. If y'all actually want to see more types of these videos, just not, I don't know about just hooking myself, but... <laughs> Any like situations where if you need help with snakes or t any anything, guys, leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to do a video for y'all. I'm going to clean this up a little bit more. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I appreciate it, guys. Litton Bass TV. <laughs>